So one of the important um, aspects of treating a patient with Waldenstrom's is involving other individual um, physicians who may bring additional expertise uh, to the treatment of, um, of Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. We know that peripheral neuropathy uh, can occur in about 25% of all Waldenstrom's patients. But we also know that sometimes the Waldenstrom cells can get into the brain and spinal cord and cause a, a syndrome called the Bing-Neal syndrome. Um, and you know, this is the type of patient that one would want to have a neurologist on board to be able to do all the important testing that's required. I think it's important for patients with Waldenstrom's uh, to note two very important things. One, survival is changing, all for the better. Uh, when I first got involved um, in, in macroglobulinemia, you know, many, many years ago, you know, people used to talk about overall survival of about three to five years. Uh, that's out the window now. You know, our most recent um, survival um, curves now show that you know, survival may be as high as 18 to 20 years plus. And I want to emphasize the, you know, the word plus because that's how much things are changing. We have new, you know, now you know, many new drugs um, available to us that I think are going to change the future even further. So it's important for patients to keep that in mind. That's not to say that every patient is benefiting the same, uh, which is why you know, still we have a very important mission ahead of us. I think it's also important um, for the newly diagnosed patient to understand that we also have one other advantage, and that is that we actually understand the genomics of this disease better than they do for many other diseases that patients have you know, with hematological cancers. Uh, we know what the key mutation drivers are, and this is really enabling us now uh, to innovate new drugs at a pace that was never seen before. So the future is really bright. We're only seeing the beginning of new drugs uh, that actually are emerging, that are truly targeted in nature for this disease. And for me, really, it couldn't be a more exciting time to be involved in Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia.